because of the experiences that many men of color have had in this country in martial arts, negative experiences, that they turn, they kind of like turn to each other for self acknowledgement. And that's right. That's exactly what you have today. Is that do, do you do you? And do, I don't. Like, you, can you blame? No, but it's hello. It, but there's nothing really wrong with that. There's do, nothing do, wrong with that. Do you think there needs to be some kind of forum or some kind of? We've had forums. We've had forums going back, man, to 1960, 65, 66. You'd be surprised if names. Well, how we got together? How? Tell and me. at these forums, you know we, said, we decided. Well, you know, we weren't getting. Because there's some some people, man, who were so talented. You know, they will go to somebody's dojos and their talents were exploited. You know, made into a servant, disrespected, just because they were the inkling of knowledge. And we saw the debasement that took place there. And we saw that despite the skills, people doing well in the tournament arena and all of that, still still were treated treated differently with disrespect. So what do you expect people to do? Mm -hmm. so I Fred Allen and I used to do a lot of these forums in the magazine. Fred and I, and then ultimately came some other guys around, and Fundishi Masi, and George Hudson, and Cleophus Jacobs, and, and folks like that. We began to get on the show called Like It Is, A Black Man in the Martial Arts, with Gil Noble, in 1970. I'm on that show if you can find the footage. You I'm on Gil there, Moses was on there, Fred Hamilton was on there, and you know a lot of folks were on that program called "The Black Man in the Martial Arts" by Gil Noble, 1970-71. That was because of what we're talking about right now. 